Autodesk Graphic is a vector-based application, and what you can do with vectors is really amazing. Some simple things, we can just draw some shapes on here and fill it with a color. No big deal, right? Well, we can also fill that same shape with an image, and it's very, very easy. In the Appearance panel, you can actually have multiple fills, but we could change this from a color fill to an image fill. Then we can attach like a texture, for example. I'm gonna use this gold texture, and you can see it just plops that right into the shape. Now it doesn't quite fill that shape, but I can change some settings right over here. I can scale it until it fills that shape, or I could say stretch to fit. And that's just right over here in the appearance under the fill properties. So that's really great. This uh, is a great method of creating sort of uh, textured backgrounds. I can now drag this shape out and line it up with my background just like this. And if I had other objects or text or something, I could set that on top of this gold background if I wanted to. But you can also do even more interesting things. So you can apply this same technique to things like text. So I'm just going to use the text tool and type out something. Let's type out gold. Now with that live text, we can go in here and uh, grab a fill. So there's a, a blank fill in here. So we have a, a text color and then we also have a fill. And so I'm going to change that fill from color to image. I'm going to grab that same texture. And again, it doesn't quite fill it. So let's just say stretch to fit. And there we go. Now I can turn my text color off and now it's just that gold texture that's filling my text. And the beauty of this is I can double click and edit this. Let's say bold. And so I have still editable text. It's live. It's live text that's filled with that shape. Really, really great. I want to show you another way of filling shapes with images that gives you even more precision and might open up some possibilities for you. So with this same texture, I'm just going to drag it right into this document. As you see, this is a high resolution image. I'm just going to scale it down a little bit. I'm going to get another piece of text, just typing in here. I'm going to type that word gold again and lay it over top of my gold background image here. I'm going to hold shift and with those both selected under the combined path tools, I'm just going to use the intersect. And what this is going to do is intersect my shape, in this case, the text with that image. And it's going to automatically convert my text to curves or a shape. What this will allow me to do is give me a little bit more precision over which part of the image is filling my shape. So if I wanted to get this corner right over here, I could move my text right up here, select them both. We can see they're both highlighted in blue in the layers panel, then hit intersect. And you see it transformed my text into all these little bitty shapes. But don't get overwhelmed. We can just make this a compound path. Boom, done. Now this is no longer editable text, but a shape. And if we double click, we can get this cropping and see we can move the image around inside this shape and we can get just the texture filling that text that we want. One of my favorite things to do is just using circles to cut out things say like this coin or you could do this with a person's face for a great profile image and to see what's underneath there you can just turn down the opacity just ever so slightly. You could also change the fill color and now I can line this up with this coin so that I can get a cutout of this rather than having all these other coins. I want to just get this one coin isolated and I can do this by using the intersect as well. So again, with them both selected here, I'm going to hit intersect and boom, look at that. Now I've got a coin and it doesn't have a white background. Isn't that great? I love that. Now I can, rotate this and treat it just like a shape that's again being filled with that image. 
But using the intersect feature, I can grab that specific piece of the image to fill it with and get much more precise. So there's a couple of ways and a couple of uses for filling vector shapes with images. Thanks for watching guys. Bye for now.